Good morning to you. Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for the 17th of September 2013. Hope you're having a good Tuesday morning. Taking a look at what we've got out here in the Atlantic Basin today, a few things to talk about. First of all, the remnants of Ingrid still dumping a lot of rainfall over portions of Mexico, all that heavy uh, tropical moisture that came inland with it still being wrung out over the mountains of Mexico. And that's going to continue to be the case over the next several days as it's going to take a little bit of time for that moisture to be completely wrung out of the atmosphere, the orographic lifting from the mountains of Mexico there helping to wring that out. I saw some reports of over 50 inches of rainfall in some locations. Not surprising considering the deep moisture that was available for Ingrid to tap into. Then we have Invest Area 95L in the Northwest Caribbean Sea. Big surprise there, right? This has been our hotbed area for development for most of the season. And of course we have Umberto sitting out here in the open Atlantic not doing anything uh, particularly interesting this morning. Just still kind of hanging around out there bothering only shipping interests. If we look at the uh, infrared satellite loop, uh, you see a pretty good blow up of deep convection right here over the Northwest Caribbean Sea in association with Invest Area 95L. Another piece of energy coming off uh, from the northwest Bahamas here, east of Florida. This may try to develop as it moves on out into the southwest Atlantic here, and then it'll head on up to the north and east and not bother any land areas too much. Bermuda does lie in its path right there, and they may have some inclement weather associated with this system. Uh, we had a nice trough come down, a sort of pre-autumn shot of cool air, cool dry air, and that might help to sort of add a little bit of energy to this system, what we call baroclinic forcing, where the energy associated with the storm is not entirely derived from the warm tropical ocean. And then, of course, you see Umberto out here spinning around, uh, looking less and less like a tropical cyclone and a lot more like what you would see uh, with these extratropical systems uh, well past their maturity stage. Umberto's been out there for quite a while, and it'll eventually turn to the north and east and head on out into the North Atlantic, and we won't be tracking that any longer, but that's still several days away. So looking at my favorite map here, one of them anyway, the vorticity chart, starting to see an increase in vorticity down here, but overall a strung out area of energy. And you know what I say, I'm trying to see if we see this show up, a round area of vorticity or spin in the atmosphere and right now in association with uh, 95 L just a little oval shaped area right there trying to organize it's going to probably take several days for it to do so and it looks pretty weak once it gets into the southwest gulf uh, in fact if we look at the GFS from the overnight run this is valid um, tomorrow morning so 24 hours out basically uh, just a little area of vorticity there on the Yucatan Peninsula. Nothing really that substantial. I mean, here's the vorticity signature of Umberto out in the open Atlantic. Uh, quite a bit stronger, as you can see, than what we have here with 95L going out to 48 hours. Even weaker in the southwest uh, Gulf Bay of Campeche area. Nice autumnal type high sliding down over the southeast. A crisp cool morning tomorrow for much of the southeast states if you like that kind of thing this is your kind of weather pattern 72 hours out you notice still very little energy really down here very little spin you're not seeing it wound up tightly um, there's a low pressure area over uh, Canada dragging a cold front that is way more powerful in terms of its vorticity signature than this tropical feature down here in the southwest gulf just to give you a comparison there and then you see what starts happening to Umberto here getting sheared out and the energy broken up into pieces as it finally starts to head off to the north and east out over the extreme reaches of the northern Atlantic then at 96 hours again nothing uh, significant down in the southwest Gulf very large vortex up here over Canada as we get ready to head towards the fall and eventually the winter time pattern We'll worry about that later right now. Still hurricane season. But no hurricanes on the map. Uh, a little bit of energy trying to take shape as I was talking about. 
There's Bermuda right there. Uh, but really, everything weak and disorganized. I don't see anything focusing the energy. Um, this little area at day five, not associated with what's going on down here in the Gulf. This is more in association with the front and this low pressure area that comes through, generating a surface low and vorticity signature over the deep south, what we call a baroclinic low. Um, we see these oftentimes generate in the winter in the northwest gulf, and then they ride across the Gulf of Mexico and then generate into a nor'easter up the east coast. I don't see that this is going to do that, but um, just pointing out that it is not associated directly with this system trying to take shape in the Gulf of Mexico. So the bottom line is we get through, uh, we're past the midpoint of September here, nothing really to worry about in the tropics. We'll certainly watch 95L closely to see if it ever can bundle that energy together and focus it as a tropical cyclone needs to do, if it's going to amount to anything. And so far, I'm not seeing that in any of the global models. The GFS doesn't show it. And the European model, which is regarded usually as the best of the global models overall, it also shows the energy stretched out over a pretty wide geographic area. And again, when you see that, you know, at least pretty confidently, that nothing substantial will develop out of it. It could be a big rainmaker, though, for parts of the Gulf Coast. We'll worry about that later, still several days out in the evolution of this system. Other, other than that, that's it. Everything else, nice and quiet. The eastern Pacific hurricane season probably coming to an end pretty soon, though not on the calendar, more just that nothing is developing out there and hasn't developed in quite some time. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com is my site. Always my honor and a privilege to uh, do these videos for you at Hurricane Pro and HD. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow.